Hello, welcome to another racket review. I'm Tennis Rally, and today I will be reviewing the new Head Boom MP that has been released now in 2024. Uh, it's a pretty good looking racket, and I will tell you all about it and what I felt and what I think about this new update and racket from Head. First of all, I just want to thank Tennis Warehouse Europe for sending me the racket to, to test out. You can check them out in the, the link in the description uh, so you can find the racket and a bunch of other tennis products as well on their website. So we can start off with the specs of this racket. It has a 295 gram unstrung weight, a 315 millimeter balance, a 100 square inch head size, a 16 by 19 string pattern as well. The swing weight is listed at 317 and the stiffness at 62 RA. So it's a pretty light racket. Uh, it will suit a broader uh, amount of people uh, considering the specifications. Uh, the beam is also quite thick. It goes from 23 millimeters to 24, uh, back to 23 millimeters at the top. Uh, so. You get a lot of power uh, from the, the head size, the pat, string pattern and uh, the beam width as well. So there are a lot of factors that play in uh, when it comes to that and combine, in combination it creates a bunch of power. Uh, although this racket lacks a bit of weight uh, so it doesn't really live up to its potential uh, as you might think. Uh, so it doesn't really have that plow through uh, that really goes through the balls. So it doesn't have that power that it could have. Uh, so therefore this racket needs a bit of uh, added weight. Uh, it's the same with the previous generation. Uh, I also felt that the racket needed some weight. Uh, so I just added the weight in the throat here to not alter the, the balance uh, anything. I used to make the static weight heavier uh, but you could add some at the top uh, and in the grip as well to not change the balance too much and therefore gets a bit more out of this frame so the cosmetic i really enjoy it i really like it this is the alternate version uh, so there's two different uh, it has the oxidic 2.0 which in other head models uh, the pattern has been that the frame becomes a bit more muted, uh, a bit more comfortable, the stiffness goes down a little bit, but also the feeling when hitting the string bed is a bit more muted, so for those who, who enjoy feeling the ball a bit more, maybe this is not the right for you, uh, but you definitely feel some, you can, if you're used to playing with the dampener, uh, I would suggest removing the dampener to get more uh, feeling of the ball. Uh, if not uh, the sound that the racket makes is too annoying for you uh, which I think so therefore I still have my dampener on so this racket is like a tweener style frame I strung it up with Headlink's touch at 23 kilos uh, which I think suited pretty well um, most head strings will work just fine polyester strings um, the pattern is quite open, so I wouldn't really feel the need to have some shaped type of string like heading store. Um, so it's okay with the round polyester string because the, the string pattern or the string uh, has a bit of movement compared to the tighter string patterns. For example, in the head radical, which also is a 16 by 19, but it's tighter because of the head size is smaller uh, and uh, the spacing between the between the strings and also as you can see here it's quite wide out towards the edges so therefore the racket becomes a bit more forgiving uh, on off-center shots uh, which also is a great feature and spin potential and so on is really good as well in comparison to like a head gravity mp uh, which uh, my friend in the video here is playing with uh, his racket of choice which is the same Static weight, not the same balance and the swing weight. And uh, there's a huge difference. I would say that that racket gives more power, even though the, the beam is thinner. 
uh, it's more thin and, and so on. Uh, so really lacks some weight or plow through uh, to really make this a great racket. And I, I feel like it has potential, not just in, in stock form, it doesn't, as I said, live up to its like true potential. Um, so keep that in, in mind when you buy this racket, that you might need some customization to, to make this more playable uh, and enjoyable. So that's all for me, I hope you enjoyed this racket review and uh, if you have any type of question please ask them down in the comment section and I will answer them as fast and as good as I can and I hope I see you in the next video. Have a great day, bye!